Alright, welcome back guys to another episode of some helicopter flying. Today, unfortunately, I had forgotten my uh, recording equipment for the onboard cockpit audio, so I'm unfor unfortunately not able to give you any kind of instruction on how to do this or whatever. Uh, but the filming takes place at a location outside of Rørvik in uh, Norway. This is in middle Norway. And I'm flying back and forth to a ship uh, that was built in 1985. It is called MS Motorship Una. Uh, built by the Vogline uh, Boatyard in uh, Vogline, Norway and delivered to the Norwegian government and is still in active service as of today. Uh, the job that we're doing is flying uh, an old uh, lantern for uh, ship navigation to um, aid ships at night or in bad weather conditions in their navigation in the coastal waters of Norway. Uh, and uh, basically flying to and from a boat which is lying at anchor is uh, somewhat of a challenge because the boat is wind waning in the wind and you're basically trying to land your load on a moving target uh, poses its own set of challenge challenges as you uh, could imagine. Now the land part is the easy bit, the, the land is fixed and the soil is firm and the guys are good. <laughs> so that doesn't really post that much of a difference from any of the other videos that I've already shown you. Take Svalbard for example. Now the difference is that this takes place over uh, sea and as you can see the helicopter is fitted with uh, emergency flotation gear. This is for safety, because this is a single engine helicopter. Meaning that in the case of an engine failure, the landing will be imminent. And if it takes place over water, it would be best suited to, um, to have some way of actually landing. So that you may escape the aircraft uh, unharmed. Um, the deck of the boat is a scenario all in its own. I'll get to that, but uh, the deck is confined. It's um, The boat is 8.2 meters wide and it poses its own set of challenges because there are many communication antennas, guardrails, lights, there's people, and there's not a lot of space on the boat and uh, catching your hook on any of these obstacles will clearly lead to a potentially destructive situation and also there is the danger of flying debris from uh, say boat covers and uh, all of these are things that you need to watch out for. So that's going to conclude it for this video. Uh, thanks guys for watching and I'll see you again soon.